Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you so much for embracing your gifts and many more things are yet to come that we don't know about. Everything is unfolding right in front of our eyes and being able to take out a leap of faith and knowing better days are coming for us our way and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when you're about to upload our next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impasse again how it impacted your life and you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the video is just giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even, you know, uh, a fellow empath that's really going through some really dark times right now, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support. And I hope you're able to... Uh, hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today I'm using my favorite my favorite as usual uh, Buddha is called clear bad energy for good remove all negative thoughts and raise positive energy vibrations and I will post that link in the description box below he's up here doing this and it's like this big statue and it's so beautiful um, and my video today is twin flame 101 remember uh, hey, Ocas, remember you are your own remote control that can control the thoughts in your of your mind. And it's true. We are. You know, it, it's just like you have to be able to know what to place your energy in, what to keep engaging in your energy. If you know you're heading towards beautiful and bright things, you know, and even though you have been through some really dark, hard times, you have to not choose to engage in those thoughts anymore you know just because they come up you don't have to put any thought into them or any kind of emotions into them you can allow them just to float up through the air like balloons like you know you're letting go of balloon you know how you see people in movies or whatever and they use like say if somebody passed away they you know they say something about the the emphasis of the balloon like it could be the color or whatever and they let it float and that's how we have to do with our bad you know our bad memories we choose to engage in certain ones you should never put your energy on things that you cannot change and I have to keep constantly telling myself that when an inner you know when a, when a thought comes up in my head and I know it's in a negative sense I try to convert my thought process over to something else that's positive allow myself to let that one go up don't say oh i don't want to deal with it right now i choose to just say okay this happened to me it's no longer affecting me anymore i choose to think about these things because it's just like if you keep dwelling on the bad things over and over and over again we can't change it we can't change the people who have done it they're only able you're only responsible for yourself and, you know, it's a hard thing when people put you in, you know, bad predicaments. But you have to just pray for people like that. You know, you never, nobody's never perfect. You know, things happen. You know, we get abused and stuff like that. But, you know, that had to come from a lot of different generations of past hurt. You know, they, they went through it with their, their parents and the parents, parents, and parents, parents, parents. You know, it goes through some dark times like that. And I have, you know, when I think about the family that I was adop adopted into, I don't even call it my family anymore. It's just like, it's a distant memory. There are just people that I just connected with at that time. Them, I don't seek any vengeance on them. I, I try to seek peace with them. Even though I don't talk to them or keep them in my circle, you know, I'm just like, ugh, I don't, I don't need to have people like that in my circle. Hey, I pray for them. You know, hopefully they'll be able to heal from anything that they caused me as well as other people in the situation and make peace with it. And, you know, allow the universe to go ahead and take its toll on whatever it needs to engage in. So it's just like, you know, you can, you have the remote control to either fast forward it, just deal, you know, just fast forward edge yourself towards uh, positive well actually not fast forward but you know <laughs> put yourself on that control in of being able to think about things that you do want in your life I know it's kind of like the video I made earlier thinking about thinking and speaking on the things you don't want puts you in a sinking place which is very true if you know you we also have that power to be able to you know things aren't flowing right I know there are certain numbers that I think about 
um, I can't remember the numbers because so many different numbers come to me when they come to play. And um, they, they also say when it comes to the angelic angels or numbers, they tell you, you know, if things are not flowing right, they're, you know they're going to be replaced with better. I've seen that. And also, you, when things are not flowing right, you also have that control to convert your thoughts over to something else. You know, if there's something that keeps coming in your life and you know you're heading towards positive things, try to think about more about the things that you're trying to get into your life other than engaging in that certain situation. You know, it, thoughts are going to come up. And at times, you know, it just come up out of nowhere. It don't mean that, you know, you're engaged in it or it could have been like something will happen in common like with a movie or something like that next thing you know it takes you back to that situation that hurts you you allow yourself to not think about that you know it's like yeah that did happen in my life but this is what i'm trying to head towards these are the things i want to put my energy and my thoughts on put your energy more on positive things that's going on in your life especially if the things you know you can't change or people you can't change but you can you can change you know you have control over how you think about it how you go about it how you engage into it how you respond and how you react all these different things you know everything you know our past is what makes us today you know I always tell people you know especially people that I haven't talked to in years and they're like well you know Roz and I've been through this and this and that and I said it's okay you know you're not what you are were in the past you were you were molded from that you know from the past mistakes and setbacks and you know failures and stuff like that that you had in your past that made you a better person for today you know if as long as you know you're not doing the same things you were doing 10 15 years ago then you know you've learned but if you did oh baby you still got it you know we, we learn <laughs> but if you still stuck on the same stuff you've been doing for years there's a problem there really is a problem because I feel like anybody I, I don't even stay the same in five minutes you know like I've said as a pet peeve of mine when people think they figure me out I change every five minutes and it's not like I'm being fake or anything like that I'm just trying to up one you know, I'm trying to learn better, bigger and better things, trying to convert my mind over something that's positive, that's going to elevate me in so many positive ways, being able to think of things that can make me have a glow up, being able to know what I can bring towards my life and help to be able to help others along the way. Those are the things I like to think about. Those are the things I like to put my energy and thoughts on. You know, yeah, things come up from, you know, with my dad's anniversary is coming up. I try not to focus on that, you know, because it's just like, you know, my dad's in a better place. You know, he doesn't have all the worries and stuff that we have here on earth. You know, I'm doing the things that I need to do, praying that he's proud of me, which I know he is, and being able to live my life that were denied to other people. You know, and that's how I had to think about it because if not, I will go crazy and I'll be crying all the time. And I don't want to do that. And it's just like I had a message last night. I was seeing a post where I was like, I was really missing my mom. And it was like a post that I put up on my Facebook page. And it was talking about, you know, um, how your loved ones watch over you. They see you when you cry. They see you when you're sleeping. They see you when you're happy. And, you know, you should never stop your life because life was denied to them. They want you to be able to live. They want you to be happy. They don't want you dwelling over the sadness of things because they're no longer here. Even though they're spiritually always with you. You know, and there's times you miss your loved ones. Of course, that's every, you know, that's everybody. But you know, they, your family and loved ones and friends, don't want you to, you know, to sit up here and and stress off about stuff like that because it's a circle of life and it's a hurtful situation to go through. But then when you know that they're in a better place, they're no longer surf, uh, suffering. Shoot, they ain't got to deal with the BS that we got to deal with on this daggone planet. You know, and you just keep doing you. You know, they're always gonna be by your side no matter what but that's what I choose to focus in on I said I don't want to think about my dad's anniversary you know I know it's coming up pretty soon you know I just have to keep doing me being able to keep pushing knowing you know this is what my dad wanted for me he always wanted to see me happy you know even though we never had that physical contact trust me there have been days if I wish I can fast forward time I would love to have been able to get in contact with my dad just to be able to you know see the things he did you know during this you know during this physical time here you know that he didn't he didn't show off in front of the cameras because it's like I always got to see a different side of my dad that he chose to show in front of other people so it's just all these different things are going on knowing this is where I pro you know my mind wants to process 
on things that I'd rather put my energy in that are very positive and it's going to elevate me in so many ways. And you should be able to do the same things too, knowing you can have that control with that. Don't allow anybody else to have the remote control to your mind or your heart or your happiness. You hold the control to that one. Be stingy with your control. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all have a blessed day weekend. My post notification shout out goes to Mimi. Uh, Neo 511 uh, Power, uh, Mike Love, uh, uh, Castadas, I think that's your name. <laughs> I can't remember pronounce your last name. I apologize. I hope I didn't ma uh, murder your last name. Uh, but yeah. I'm not even going to try to uh, pronounce that because I know I messed it up. But she, I hope she, if she's looking, she know I tried to, I tried to put emphasis on your last name and try to pronounce it right. But my mind's going 100 mile, 120 miles an hour, so I, I couldn't pronounce that the way I wanted to. So <laughs> send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Uh, like and subscribe. Even drop me a line. And, you know, give, give me your positive feedback or, you know, your input on this video is greatly appreciated. And I will see you on my next video. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Have a, a prosperous, blessed week. Be safe and responsible. Everything you do is always. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And no one, you know, somebody's always out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know when somebody truly needs that kind of work to get through their day. Much love to you. Peace. And be wild.